Today, knock on wood, um, cancer free. 65 closings at 16 million. I'm not going to tell you, you can't do anything. <laughs> what is up, everybody? So, I have a special, special treat for you today. Desiree out of, out of Charleston, South Carolina, is with us today. She, uh, I guess, she's been in the Zero to Diamond Facebook group for a while. And I guess she finally took the plunge to follow me on Instagram. So we kind of chatted there for a second. And then she told me that in 2018, she had a cancer scare at the, and, it, and it was like one week, one year ago yesterday or something. She uh, dealt with that, battled that, and then came back to close $8 million in sales uh, all in the same year. So I thought, what an inspiration like what an inspirational story please just tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of how you got into real estate and uh and then like leading up to, to like you know your your 2018. okay well i've been in the charleston market for about seven and a half years i'm originally from connecticut and um i had gotten my license years ago in connecticut and the market tank and i have a marketing degree so i ended up working as a director of marketing for a food service distribution company. And mm -hmm. then we made the decision to move here and the market uh, was a lot different here than it was back home. And I said to my husband, you know, I want to get back into it. And he's like, sure, you know, go for it. Um, so I started with my first brokerage, not knowing a single person here in Charleston. Um, and eventually built my business up and peers into it. I said to my broker, you know, I want to get to the next level. What can I do? And he said, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. And I'm like, well, that's not going to get me anywhere. So I ended up leaving going to a different brokerage. Um, and I've been with them ever since. And I started off on a team there and went off on my own a couple of years ago. Um, in 2017, <clears throat> excuse me, ended up being my biggest year to date. Then uh, did one point, or excuse me, 8.1 million in sales. So when I started getting my my uh, business plan together for 2018, I set it really high. I had huge uh, goals. I was going to close 46 homes, uh, do 14 million in sales, and then eight days into 2018, I was diagnosed with cancer. So um, obviously <laughs> kind of turned my world upside down and, uh, you know, once I, once it all sunk in and I knew what was going to happen, um, going forward, I told myself, told my husband, and I had only told a few of my closest friends what was going on. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to keep it quiet because I didn't want I, I didn't want to people to feel sorry or anything for me. Um, yeah. And, and I didn't want it to affect my business. So I just kept every day, you know, treating it as a new day and like I was going to work like I normally did and um, didn't let it, anything get me down. And long story short, I ended up having a fabulous year, did 8.4 million. Um, while going through all of it. <laughs> so. Right. So did you, um, like you had to take some time off for like treatment and certain things, right? Uh, yeah, I had surgery in February, um, but I only took off one day. Um, my husband still jokes with me about this because I was negotiating repairs in the recovery room. <laughs> And then he drove me to a builder meeting the next day so I could ratify a contract uh, with a, a client. Um, I tried not to take too much time off. Um, you know, still going, once I started treatment, I was going to the hospital every day. Um, but my, my doctors were great. They set me up for eight o'clock in the morning and then I was able to 
try to go about my business the rest of the day. <laughs> so I'm just like speechless right now. I look back on last year and like, I can't believe, I'm not sure where it was in me that I ended up doing what I did. Um, but I have an amazing support group of friends. And um, when you surround yourself around people who are in a like business and a like mind, they, they and my family just kept me kept me staying positive <laughs> and moving forward. Um, I just cannot believe that. So like, so like there were like, like I know people that have been through, you know, that kind of stuff. And, you know, they went through treatments where they just felt really sick and there's like no way that they could. Can you hear me? Yep. Mm. Your face is frozen, but. <laughs> yeah. I hate it when that happens. Can you hear me now? Yeah, like I've I've had people that I've known people that went through that and like they would be like so sick certain days and like you know for like weeks at a time and stuff. You didn't go through that. Um, the treatment I had just made me very tired, so mm. um, you know I had to force myself to take naps <laughs> and uh, just dealt with it the way you know. I'm I've always considered myself to be an overachiever. And so I just kept pushing myself. Not sure if it was the best thing looking back on it, but you know, um, today, knock on wood, um, cancer free and healthy. And so, you know. Yeah, definitely. Let's knock on some wood and stuff yeah. like that is amazing. I, I would, I can't imagine what that feels like or how that, you know, goes, but I would think that I would be the same way, you know, just like fight through it and uh, you know make the best of it stay positive you know keep working yeah um and stuff like that so i'm i'm with keller williams and we have what's called an alc which is an agent leadership council and i was on mm -hmm. it and um you know we had our we had our retreat in january and it happened to be a few days after i got the diagnosis and I stood in front of that group and I told them what was going on and they, and they said, well, what can we do for you? I said, nothing other than call me every day to make sure I'm making my calls and doing what I need to do for work. And they're like, okay, we're behind you a hundred percent. So I'm so grateful for that group of people and grateful for my other group of realtor friends and family. Um, they, you know, it's when you're going through something like that, you definitely have to s surround yourself around positive people. So, and, I, and I credit a lot of my year to all of them. So. so you have a really incredible support group of friends, family, agents that really helped you through all this. And I'm just like blown away by this. I mean, this is incredible. Um, so, so you went through that, you became cancer free, you continued selling through all that. Um, that is just amazing. So 2019, what are you, what is your goals for 2019? They're pretty hefty. Um, 65 closings at 16 million. And I know it's a, it's a huge thing over last year, but I think if I had not gone through what I went through last year, I would have been a, even that next level. So I'm pretty confident I'm going to do it this year. I'm yeah. Sorry. I don't, I don't have any doubt in you. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, you can't do anything. <laughs> 65 closings at 16 million. And I know it's a, it's a huge thing over last year, but I think if I had, um, you know, the market here in, in Charleston is still very, very good. We're still in pretty much a seller's market. Um, there's a couple areas that have slowed down, but overall with everyone still moving here, um, you know, we've got approximately 35 people a day moving here. So, um, and I'm location certified. So with all of that, it's, I'm confident I'll be able to, you know, reach those goals. Oh, there's no doubt. 
So tell me a little bit about your business. Like where do you get your leads and how do you, how do you, you know, how do you do all these deals? Well, when I, I first started out, believe it or not, I got all my business off of Craigslist because I didn't know anybody here. So I had to do something to build a database. And um, I am a relationship agent. I said right from the beginning, I was going to treat all of my clients basically like family, the way I would want to be treated. And I developed well, friendships with the majority. Matter of fact, I actually uh, went out to lunch today with one of my past clients. Um, so just throughout the years, I have stayed in touch with all of them and worked out, worked a really good referral business from it. Mm -hmm. So um, between that being military relocation certified, you know, we have two, two military bases here. Um, so that has been a good chunk of my business. Well, well, listen, first of all, I just want to say thank you for doing this. Um, and um, what an inspiration. And this is going to help know that may be going through um, you know, some kind of similar thing, or they have a family member going through something like this. Um, so, and I don't know if you, you guys can hear me or not. I can. I'm not sure if anybody else can. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I guess, I guess my thing for you is, is what can I do to help you? I love all your videos about, um, I, one thing I will, I, don't do and it's something you know being in this business it's kind of, we're constantly learning new things and constantly pushing ourselves to to do new things and get out of our comfort zone um mm -hmm. one of the things i don't do is cold calling so your videos have been kind of an inspiration to me um you know mm -hmm. because a lot like i said most of my business is all referral and past client based. Um, so, you know, if, if we increase our goals, we have to do things to increase our business. And yeah. uh, so cold calling is one of the things I need to get more comfortable with. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing about cold calling is, is it is once you do it a little bit, you get addicted to it because it's so fun and you help so many people you become really addicted to it and you get so much business out of it and you just, it just becomes really fun and addicting. So I think that's the biggest thing. If you'll just take the plunge in and just do it for a couple months and see the rewards and see all the new relationships you build and so on and so forth, you'll become addicted to it. And then at that point you like, you're going to be so, you know, you're just going to want to do it more and more and more, you know, because it, it's, it's, it's like, it's the holy grail of building business, you know? Right, right. Um, oh. Cool. Well, any cool. last thoughts? Um, mm, you know, just anybody that's going through this situation or anything in general, whether it's, you know, changing your business or whatever, is it's all your mindset. And, um, you have to have a positive mindset, you know, say those daily affirmations every morning. Um, I truly believe you put into the universe what you, what you ask for, you're going to get it. Um, you know, so just mm -hmm. keep that positive mindset. And <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, That's okay. don't, don't let the uh, negative things around you take you down. I love it. I love it. Again, thanks. Thanks for doing this. Um, I don't see any questions in the in the comments. I think everybody was just inspired and just enjoyed, you know, listening to the conversation. So, like I said, if there's anything in the world that I can do for you, please reach out to me anytime, and I'll bend over backwards to help you. And um, yeah, likewise. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, I'm out of here with Desiree. We'll talk to you guys soon.